D, wait for it. Wait for it. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And have I got a story for you. Now, also down below, you can find the articles that I read to bring you this video. And you can, you know, read them for yourself or just watch this video where I'm going to read them to you. <clears throat> Now, before I get started, I also want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing their algorithm and small channels like mine, we always get shoved to the back of the line. So please ask that you like, share and subscribe. And I thank you in advance. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get started. This comes from Screen Geek. And I thought this was interesting and I wanted to read it to you guys. So, <clears throat> so it says, uh, uh, plot details for X-Men MCU movie revealed. And I was like, ooh, well, daddy wants to read. Um, So possible spoilers, I don't know. <clears throat> so it says, when Disney finally got the movie rights back to various Marvel characters in 2017, after the company's deal to acquire 20th Century Fox, many fans thought the X-Men would be first on the list of things to get a reboot. Fast forward to 2022, and an X-Men movie has yet to be announced. Some thought that an update would come during the year, this year's San Diego Comic-Con, or D23, but it never happened. Although there is no release date for Marvel's upcoming X-Men movie, we do have new plot details. Interesting. <clears throat> Sorry. Our sources have told us that Marvel Studios' currently plan is a current plan is for the MCU's X Men film to be based on Joss Whedon's Astonishing X Men run. Astonishing X Men was a comic book series continu uh, continuation of Grant Morrison's New X Men. Whedon's run began in 2004 and ended in 2008. Mm, that run was okay. There was some stuff they did that I personally didn't care for in that one, but. It's fine. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't like the mutant cure that he came up with that whole thing. <clears throat> it's unclear which X-Men team the studio plans on using, but it's worth noting that the lineup in that series was Cyclops and Emma Frost team leaders and also included Beast, Kitty Pride, Wolverine, and Colossus. That group was also featured in various limited series, including World War Hulk, X-Men, Whedon's Astonishing X-Men run, featured four different story arcs in Gifted, uh, Dangerous, Torn, and Unstoppable. A summarized version of the overall plot is that the team must stop an alien race from destroying Earth, while also dealing with the announcement of a mutant cure and various other problems that come about along the way. Yeah, I didn't like his uh, mutant cure storyline. I personally didn't care for it, and they adapted it in that third X-Men movie. So the apparent contract issue uh, hasn't stopped Marvel from making X-Men references in their Disney Plus shows, though, as we've seen Easter eggs appear in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier and in She-Hulk, uh, that's grammatically not proper, but and Miss Marvel revealed Kamala Khan as the MCU's first mutant. As far as more developments on the X-Men and everything Marvel Cinematic Universe related, we'll be sure to keep you posted on details. Okay, so I have to say, first off, I mean, this really wasn't giving us too much of plot details. It's just saying, oh, they're going to adapt Joss Whedon's work. And you're like, mm, okay. Second off, um, I personally, like Joss Whedon's run on the X-Men wasn't bad. It just wasn't the best. Like there was some stuff in there that, like I said, the cure portion of that, if you go back and read those, you can find them on Amazon. Um, I, like I said, I personally didn't care for his, like his run was just okay. It was mediocre just because he did the cure thing, which I absolutely hated. Um, and then um, what did he else did you do? He did one more other thing that I personally didn't like, um, but we'll see. As far as this team up, I'm sorry. I did a video a long time ago explaining how they could bring the mutants. I'll leave that in the iCard section. But my whole run was just mutants have been around this entire time. And Professor X just gets them. Once they find out they're mutants, Professor X goes, he grabs them up and he takes them over to Krakoa. Uh, the living island, and they just live there. All the X-Men live there. Um, and then they were going to reveal themselves, uh, but then the attack on New York happened, and they were like, no, it's too early now. It's way too early. Tell me, what do you guys think about all of this? How do you feel about these, these X-Men plot details revealed? Um, do you think that this is, do you think adapting Joss Whedon's comic book work is the best choice for the X-Men movie? 
Or are you like me and you think that they they really shouldn't do it because it's not, you know, overwhelmingly amazing. Um, but yeah, and who's your favorite X-Men? Mine's Jean Grey. She's great. All right, you guys, well, tell me what you guys think. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you didn't mention it. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys. You guys have a good week. Bye.